three and one. And there goes Peraza to third. The throw to third. He's in there. So the second time in just a couple of games, Peraza has stolen third. Not much Posey could do. Took Romo a while to even deliver. The Peraza in there, hands first. And holding on. All right, three and two. That's a big play. Now the infield is up. The outfield is very shallow. Jock Peterson bunt was a good part of the inning. And Peraza stealing third. Now Aoki started to come in from left field. But instead, Brandon Crawford coming to the mound. Boshi's going to go out and let's see what he does. Three and two, the count. Whatever Boshi spotted, he apparently is going to ask for a review. About the play at third base. That's the only other thing he has to hope for. Don Mattingly up the steps. Mike Winter, the crew chief, talking to Mattingly. Crowd roaring because it looks like Peraza was safe. The only problem, I guess. He was in a tangle down there. And Boshi wisely wants to take a look. He's in there ahead of the tag. Then his body forced because of the running starts to carry. And you're looking in there to see is he being tagged and you don't see a hand on the bag. It's awfully close. So what the crowd is seeing is one thing. What we have just shown you is another. Yes, he got to third, but did he stay on the bag? Or was that glove pinned on him as he went sliding across the bag? So the one shot we showed you made it very close, much closer than what they're showing so far. Here's the one. Watch this. There's the left hand, safe. The glove is now on him. Watch that left hand. It is, look the fingers, are they off the bag? That's how close, we're talking about a fingernail play. I can't tell, can you? Well, imagine what a spot this is, ninth inning, and he's safe. All right, it's three and two to Ellis. 